Hello, YouTube fam. It is Saturday. Well, hello, YouTube, and welcome to the channel. Hey, I got something a little bit different today. I normally would be uh, out riding uh, as I'm doing my videos here, but today we have something special, and let's talk about it. So, new to the garage. And if you've been following my channel, I've been talking about getting something new for 2024. And I was talking about maybe getting rid of my 2021 Harley Davidson uh, CVO Road Glide and possibly trading it for one of the new CVOs, the new 2024 CVOs. Um, so, of course, I did not do that because it is still sitting here in my garage. And one of the reasons, you know, and we're going to touch on this a little, probably a little bit later when it gets to the new ride here. Um, this CVO still supports, not still, but it has always supported uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The same thing for my Road Glide Limited. But for the new CVOs and the new Harley Davidsons with the infotainment, the new infotainment system, uh, they do not uh, support Android Auto, and I am an Android guy. So yesterday, I took delivery of my 2024 Honda Goldwing in pearl white. And this is the manual transmission. So yes, I have to operate the clutch. Now, if you've been following my channel, you absolutely know that I've owned a 2018 Honda Goldwing as well. And that was a DCT model. It was in the ardent red, which I love that color, by the way. You couldn't go wrong with that. I think that was a great color when they came out with that. But for 24, um, you cannot get that color in the 24 model. You can get it in this color, which is a pearl white. And let's see if I can get in there real close and see if you can see some of the flake in there. And this thing looks great in person. And I kept looking at it on the website. And I kept saying, ah, I really do want to change it up. As you can see, it has the black as well with the red accent. Let me see if I can move around here and get back up a little bit. I kind of have it parked uh, in a spot that I probably should have moved a little bit forward in the garage um, where the lighting is a little bit better. But we're going to do a full ride and I'll be able to get pictures out in the daylight so it snowed uh overnight here in uh, the dmv area so um i had to get up there yesterday i've been working the deal all week uh, come up with the uh, right numbers um, to help me make my decision which route i would go the numbers were very good i couldn't take delivery of it on Tuesday uh, when I showed up at the dealership this week uh, because there was a recall that came out um, for the Honda Gold Wings um, but it, they looked it up and they confirmed with Honda that um, this particular model uh, was not affected by that recall. Something in reference to the fuel pump impeller I think they put a recall out for the 2018 in 2019 through 2020s, something to that effect. So even it's dating back uh, to 2018, um, there's a recall and your vehicle may possibly be affected. Of course, um, if you already own a Honda Goldwing in that model year, you will be contacted. Uh, and to at free of charge, it will be uh, repaired. Um, but, uh, yeah, no issues with this one. So they were able to uh, go ahead and release it and allow me to take 
ownership of it, take delivery of it. So I did that yesterday, um, late uh, yesterday that is, uh, because uh, I was waiting on a call from them to confirm. Got kind of late in the afternoon. So I finally got the call, got the email, said, oh, the bike is ready. So I made it up to the dealership um, 15 minutes before they actually closed the doors. Uh, but of course they were waiting on me and already, you know, got the insurance on it. So it was already prepped and detailed for me. Um, they dropped the tags on it. So it was just a matter of uh, signing the paperwork and uh, getting my gear on, uh, getting my phone connected. Like I said, uh, the Honda Gold Wings still support Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. So, um, so I'm stoked about that. I'm stoked um, about the uh, fact that I was able to get a manual transmission. Now, I enjoyed the DCT uh, when I had it. Um, like I said, I rode that motorcycle from Maryland to DCT uh, uh, Gold Wing, that is, from Maryland down to Atlanta, Georgia, then down to Birmingham, Alabama, and back to Maryland. And uh, like I said, I enjoyed the ride. I enjoyed it. The bike is, is, is phenomenal. I mean, compared to a lot of different touring models out there, as, as you can see, I, I have quite a few touring models here. You know, get me wrong, I, I love, you know, the Harley Davidson. I love that sound, uh, you know, V twin sound, but. This Honda Goldwing is a, is a different beast, and to be able to to be able to ride it, to be able to compare it amongst other motorcycles, um, man, it's in a league of its own. Um, some say, "Oh, it you know it doesn't have that motorcycle sound." No, it has the Honda uh, Goldwing sound. You know, it's, it's I love the way it actually sounds. You know, it sounds like a a Formula One car, you know, and if you want to put exhaust on it, they do make exhaust uh, for this motorcycle. But again, I am going to leave it stock for the most part. Um, that's my preference. I try to do that for the most part for every motorcycle that I purchase. Now I may change, you know, like windscreens. I may put a slip on exhaust like I did for my BMW. Um, as well as my CVO. Now, my CVO, it actually, I purchased that uh, used and it had tab performance uh, with the zombie baffles, um, but it was way too loud uh, for my taste. Um, yeah, I wanted to have some sound, but uh, not, not that uh, loud of a sound. So <laughs> I decided to get some Cobra neighbor haters and uh, they still sound great um but not deafening so yeah so um yeah so yeah i'm gonna pretty much leave it um as is um i'm looking to put uh a whole lot of miles on it uh, this year um so i'll be rotating of course between motorcycles um uh, putting a lot of miles on it trying to get that cross-country trip in as well got some upcoming events that are a little bit closer of course headed down to florida uh, back down to Savannah again this year, of course, hitting Atlanta. I think I'm going to got a ride to Tennessee coming up as well. But I think the first ride is down to North Carolina um, for the Buffalo Soldiers event. That is April to weekend of April the 26th, I believe. So, yeah, uh, I don't know which bike I'm going to ride. I think I am going to ride to Harley because I, I plan to ride that, put some uh, miles on that, uh, riding with a another group of Harley riders that I met recently. And uh, so, but we'll see. Um, and I, don't, I don't know, it's hard not to get on this Honda Goldwing. Um, actually, it had zero miles on it. So I put the first 37.3 miles. I did not trailer it uh, from the dealership. Um, I actually rode it, I rode it back. Um, so it was 37 miles from the dealership, 37.3 that is, um, smooth, just a smooth ride. And what I remember, you know, from having a 2018, so no issues there. 
So it's a little bit dirty. Um, they tried to clean it up for me. You can, I don't know if you can or cannot see, it's kind of streaky there in the windscreen, windshield. Uh, probably Honda, Honda spray when they were prepping it for me. And I uh, went through a little bit of water last night, so I need to get and uh, get the bucket out and uh, clean it up real good. So. Uh, not going to be able to do it today. Sun is already down. It's quite cold, so I didn't want to back it out in the driveway to uh, to clean it up. So I'll probably clean it up where it sits. But uh, yeah, I made that decision, and I am very happy that I made that decision. And you really, man, you get this uh, paint job. You know, this pearl white. Oh man, it looks so good. Um, yeah, so yeah, we'll save the rest for for the ride and, re and review and my thoughts on uh, convey my thoughts to you guys as to why I made the decision to actually go with the Honda Goldwing instead of purchasing another Harley or Harley Davidson uh, CVO for that fact of the matter. Um, do that comparison and uh, what you get on the Honda Goldwing versus what you get on the new Harley Davidson's, whether it's a CVO or the Road Glide, um, Street Glides that are non CVOs, um, navigation system, you know, uh, heated grips, heated seat, etc. So, of, of course, the Honda Goldwing has all of that um, for basically half the price of uh, a CVO. Um, out the door, that is, um, after, you know, all your taxes, uh, freight, you know, prep, you know, uh, yeah. So, yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting out there soon. I think we're going to have a good day um, temperature-wise tomorrow, but uh, even better on Monday, which is President's Day. Happy President's Day. I hope everyone's able to get out and enjoy this long weekend. Hope you're off on Monday as well. So hopefully Monday I can get out and take it for a ride. Um, like I said, it did snow here over night Friday into Saturday morning. Not much snow, but the issue is, uh, you know, they treated the roads. So um, that brine is all over the place. So I was out and about today and it is all over my truck, of course. So I'm going to have to take the hose to that as well. So that's probably one of the main reasons I did not take the motorcycle out today and possibly not tomorrow uh, we'll probably wait till uh you know monday you know hopefully it will rain hopefully it will rain to get that brine off the road um so uh i don't have to turn around and wash this again but anyway let me know what you guys think about the honda goldwing 2024 manual transmission you know Compared to DCT, what are your thoughts on that? Which one do you prefer? It's obvious that I prefer a manual transmission. Been riding motorcycles since 1985, and I've just gotten so used to it. Not that I couldn't get used to the DCT. It's just my preference is uh, to have a manual uh, clutch there as opposed to um, having an automatic transmission. But anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya.